Hey guys, what's up? It's Missy Wolf. We're at CRS with the Duggar Band, Jordan and Seth. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. I'm doing well. I'm going to start this off with a question that I've been dying to ask okay. because I watched your Super Bowl predictions yep. on uh, Facebook. How'd that go for you? Yeah, yeah. We, we picked the Patriots, but it's funny. We had a video made. Um, we just didn't have a chance to post it. That Before the, the playoffs even started, we both predicted the Patriots to be there. But we predict, predicted, I think we both said either the Rams or Minnesota would be in it. Uh, so we got one of the teams right from okay. the very beginning. But it's, it's crazy. The Patriots have a great organization. I've actually not been a fan until this year. Uh, I just realized, you know, you never see greatness like this. So yeah. I, was, I was actually pulling for them. It's funny because I always cheer for a specific team in the Super Bowl. And probably over the course of my entire life, 85 to 90 percent of the time it's been wrong i don't understand the odds on that but if i started betting against myself i'd be really rich right <laughs> right or what about you how do you feel about it um i thought it was a good game um i definitely thought the patriots gonna pull it out but hats off to philadelphia eagles yeah. nick Foles for for uh coming in as a backup and winning super bowl mvp so it was a great game uh we were wrong though so and uh, we had a lot of Eagles fans let us know after <laughs> after that as well. And no I, offense, but we're also we're big Cowboys fans, yeah. so it's really tough for us to be able to to pull for the Eagles when they're in our division. Mm. So absolutely, I get it. And I just had to give you guys a hard time because you guys were so cute and so animated in that video. Like <laughs> you knew who was gonna win. Yeah, we, and it was great. We felt confident in it. <laughs> but probably out of our entire party that we had back in East Tennessee, is a bunch of family and friends. Um, we were probably two out of like 40 that, the, that were pulling for the Patriots that <laughs> Listen, night. Listen, last year I, we were watching the uh, the Super Bowl in our parents' man cave, our dad's man cave, back in Greenville, and uh, there's a big party there. And there was about three minutes left to go in the third quarter last year, and the score was 28 to three. Atlanta was beating the Patriots. I looked over at one of my friends and I said, "There's absolutely no way." It's impossible that Tom Brady could come back from this. And we even made a bet, and I think quickly we, we forgot what the bet was because put on a show. And so it goes to show you, every time I'm wrong. That's what it is what it is. Well, I, I, I think it's great. Don't ask Seth for advice on, <laughs> not on, not on the Super Bowl winner. But it's okay be because you know what? You guys have redeemed yourself with East Tennessee Sun, right? <laughs> well, thank you. Because yeah, thank you. this song, the proceeds from this song, tell everybody what you guys are doing with this, first of all. I think it's so great. Um, we... We're just trying to do a small part to help out um, with some of the families and uh, that were affected by the wildfires in the Gatlinburg area. Uh, we grew up in Greenville, which is about 45 minutes away from Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge area. And uh, so after we, we actually wrote the song a week before the wildfires happened. And so after that happened, it kind of just took on a whole new meaning to us. And um, we just uh, thought it would be cool to you know, we can't, you know, we'd love to be able to do more, but it's just a little part. And so many people have pitched in and helped uh, in that area. And so well, we're donating some of the proceeds to help with some organizations there um, after the album comes out. And so uh, a portion of ourselves are going to, to try to help some. It's not, you know, we can't uh, do as much as other people might be able to do, but if everybody does something, then it goes a right. long way. So. Absolutely. And first of all, don't discount what you are doing because well, what you're you. doing is amazing. And you know, if everybody did what you guys were doing, I mean, imagine what would be happening. You know, yeah, so don't that. don't discount what you're doing. I think it's Thank fabulous. You. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, what else do you guys have coming up? What do you guys got going on? We're here at CRS, and I know that you're doing interview after interview. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of fun. We're excited about the release of the record. Yeah, February 16th is when it comes out, and you can download it on iTunes, Amazon, any of any our website, DuggerBand.com, where you can find a lot of other merchandise there. Um, so you can pick that up anywhere. But we also got the music video for East Tennessee Sun yeah. set to release here soon. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, it's our first major production music video, so that's Absolutely. that's exciting for us. We shot it in our hometown of Greenville, Tennessee, and it was just really cool because everything that's in the song mm -hmm. is is true and is real. Uh, so the story in it, like the shop downtown, we shot it at the shop that Jordan worked at to buy his first guitar. Yeah. In the video is the guitar that Jordan bought with the, with the the, pro, the money that he made at the shop. Yeah. So so everything in it is true, and so it's it's kind of cool to to see that in film. Oh, that's really neat. Love that. And we had a great time with that. Um, in a couple of the shots, and I guess we're kind of giving a preview to what happened, but 
Uh, Seth and I got to drive some awesome cars, classic cars, uh, 1970 and 1971 Chevelle Super Sport. Oh. And so both of them were stick shifts. Yep. And Seth and I, have, you know, driving all over the country, we drive automatics because it's just easier. So it's been a, it had been a while since we'd driven stick. Yep. And so before the video shoot, we're like, man, we need to get comfortable with this. So uh, <laughs> we, we went back to East Tennessee where the cars were, and uh, we got in one of the cars, and we just kind of drove it around the parking lot and we were nervous because these cars are spotless and uh, after that you know it didn't go as well as we hoped it would and so we came back here and, and one of our sponsors here in town uh, is a car dealership uh, Beeman Automotive and so we called them like hey we need to practice driving a stick shift Do you have something we we could borrow and so they were kind enough to let us borrow a car and, and uh, get some practice in and uh, so then we were comfortable by the time we shot the video and uh, we had a great time with it. We're so excited about releasing it. We, we didn't find out until after that experience, the gentleman who owns the car said that we were only the third and fourth people to ever drive that car. Wow. Spotless, brand new. I mean, it looks brand new. Oh. Just a couple thousand miles so on this 1971 Chevelle. After that, so. So after that, we're like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Chevelle is like my dream rod car. Like, yeah, I yeah. love it. It was amazing. It was one of the big block engines. So oh. we had a lot of fun. So and I can drive stick. Yep, I drive stick. Yep. You well, you would love it then. It was yeah. a lot of that fun. That would have been fun. Maybe I'll be number five. Yeah. Yep. Maybe. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it, but. <laughs> worth a shot you never know but so well that's great that's fantastic now where can fans find you so that they can follow along with all the fun yeah we we have all social media facebook and instagram you can follow us there just search duggar band and it's spelled with an e uh, there's some that's spelled with an a ours is spelled with an e uh, just just search that out follow us on there we post all of our uh, shows where we're going to be we're traveling around the country this year so so hopefully no matter where you're at and where you're listening from then we'll be able to be in your neck of the woods Absolutely. and you can come out and check out one of our shows and so. if you can't check out one of their shows you got to check out their Facebook live videos or just the, because they even do things with naming soup and it's great uh, and yeah. and I love their videos they're a lot of fun and if you want to know more go check them out until next time guys we'll see you soon Thank you. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to our interview here at CRS 2018. Be sure to like us on social media, follow us, share us with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.